So we have established that a, a VSAT means a small remote antenna. What really differentiates VSATs is the access technology that's used by the VSAT. And fundamentally, there's really two kinds of VSAT access technologies that we talk about in the context of uh, cellular backhaul. One is SCPC, single channel per carrier. The other is DVBS2 uh, slash TDMA. Uh, and the difference between the two is that SCPC is actually a circuit-based access scheme. So we're really setting up a point-to-point -point circuit from one station to another station. And in so doing, we're dedicating capacity, the satellite bandwidth, to that link between that station and another station. That works really well for high capacity links. Certainly a megabit or over in terms of uh, capacity is generally gonna be well served with SCPC. Uh, the other access technology, which is generally known as TDMA, um, is, is an access scheme where instead of being circuit-based, it's packet-based. And instead of dedicating bandwidth, we're allocating it dynamically. Typically, these kinds of VSAT systems are deployed in a star topology. So you have a hub station or a gateway station, which is talking to multiple remote stations. But the key is the ability to share bandwidth because it's a packet-based access scheme. And this allows us to uh, provide a cost-effective service to thin route remote stations. And in particular, where there's traffic variability from moment to moment amongst the stations. Because it's packet-based, if a station is idle, if there aren't any calls, we can dynamically reallocate that bandwidth to a station that's busy.